Hi lovelies, um, welcome back uh, this week uh, to the free weekly reading um, given by me, Sarah Martucci, Psychic Medium and Certified Crystal Healer. Um, and so this is for the week ahead, October the 23rd through October the 29th. Um, all right, so this is this is definitely another transitory week, one where we're kind of in flux here. We're moving out of Libra season into Scorpio. Um, and we, we just did on the 21st, 22nd. Uh, so we're a couple days deep here. And and I, maybe that is like a key word for Scorpio is deep. <laughs> I mean, these guys are ruled by the planet Pluto, um, which kind of represents the underworld. It does represent the underworld. So they're not afraid of going deep. They're not afraid of digging in and really looking at the hard aspects of life. They're not afraid to see the whole spectrum for all that it is, both light and darkness. Um, these guys are, are really incredible um, investigators. These guys are really incredible researchers. Um, if you try to hide anything from a Scorpio, good luck. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. <laughs> They'll see right through your bullshit. Um, these guys know what it, intensity is. Um, and I would say that that would be another great word to describe this group of people as intense. Um, and even if you know Scorpios that are pretty shy and reserved, um, get them talking about what they're passionate about. All of a sudden, you're going to see some deep intensity coming out of them. Um, and it's beautiful stuff. We need them. Um, and I think that they're here to remind us to go deeper. Um, so yeah, this week, uh, kind of look for those uh, themes. Like, where can you go deeper in your life right now? Um, where can you allow yourself some time to kind of get quiet and, and go deep inside. Um, and kind of like go back to, go back to you kind of really figure it out and face the dark stuff in there and not be afraid of that. And to not be afraid of the unknown either, because I think a lot of times, um, there might be this worry that if we go deep and we see something that we're not sure how we're going to deal with it or what we're going to do with that information. Scorpio is just kind of like a spelunk friend say jump off that you know base jump off that bridge you got to do this you have got to go deep um in order for you to really to face that stuff and to know how to work through it to find the other end of it there and to to really develop yourself and allow yourself to unfold the only way through it is through it the only way to to get to the other side is to go through it and scorpios really help us is really here to help us to do that work this week. So don't be afraid, guys. Um, go deep. Um, and and kind of give yourself that chance to allow some of this darker stuff to come to light so that you can face it and deal with it. So that's going to be my my reoccurring thing that I blast at you guys for the next couple weeks. So uh, just get ready for it. Um, Scorpio also rules the sex organs. So... Don't be surprised <laughs> this month if a lot of people start getting pregnant, um, uh, if we find a lot of issues uh, both maybe within our family and like our groups and also the world at large, um, some sexual issues and dysfunctions coming to the forefront. I can think mildly of Harvey Weinstein uh, um, and that whole issue there. So. And just, it's just too many. It's too much. Um, my hopes is that the whole child trafficking issue really comes to light these next couple weeks. Um, and we really push hard for a way to shut that shit down. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my hopes for this week. And I hope that Scorpio allows us to go to those dark places, shed light in that space and find out a way through it and to work through this issue and to make things better especially for kids. Kids don't deserve that kind of shit. They just fucking don't. So nobody deserves to be in a sex traffic trade. Can I say that too? Um, so yeah, no more of that crap. Um, hopefully Scorpio will usher us through this and really help us with those themes. All right, you guys. Um, so let's pick the cards. <laughs> All right, so as always, um, pick what you're drawn to. This is about intuitively uh, what cards that you're drawn to. So you can pick one, two, or all three. It's up to you. Uh, use your um, psychic abilities here, all right? All right, so this is gonna be card number one. And this is gonna be card number two. And then this is going to be card number three. I don't know why I decided to sing that, but. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a good week. 
Well, and especially too, because we're just coming off of that uh, Libra new moon, uh, which I don't know about you guys, but it was kind of dark and stanky for me. Um, definitely brought to light some some powerful stuff. So um, still kind of working through it. I think everybody is, um, especially if you're a woman um, and you did like the whole hashtag Me Too thing and you've been a part of that. Like, I feel like you'd be living under a rock if you haven't heard about it or haven't seen it somewhere. So um, I think all of us are still kind of reeling from that and trying to decide right now, like, where do we go from here? How do we make this better? So I'm hoping that those themes and then with Scorpio season, it allows us to, like I said before a million times, go deep, figure the shit out and come out the other side together. Maybe hopefully a more unified group taking care of each other and making sure that this shit doesn't keep happening to everybody. So yeah. All right. <laughs> so if you pick card number one, you got star seed and here's your amazing card. All right, so if you pick card number one, you got Starseed. Uh, this is an awesome card. I think all the cards are awesome, so you're always going to hear that from me. But uh, Starseed is not even number one. It's zero. It's like the beginning and the ending. This this card is really about creation at its finest um, and kind of saying to you that you're creating something powerful here. If you notice the female on the card, she's got her hands outstretched and like this light is coming out of her heart. But it kind of looks like she's controlling that light or like... She somehow has a way to manipulate this light. I'd like you to think about this week, if you pulled this card, where do my gifts and abilities lie and how can I work them in a way or how can I bring them to the table in a way to really help more people? How can I do this from my heart? And how can I use my gifts and abilities from my heart to make a situation better or to further my own self in a better way? Um, I just really think that this card is, is saying to you guys this week that <laughs> remember that you're not alone and that you're being guided by something bigger as well so I'm kind of from the mind frame that we each create our own reality but that there's also some chaos in the background there that comes in every now and then and it's like we've always got to find ways to kind of work through that chaos that we can't predict we have no ideas coming um, so I kind of come from this <laughs> this uh, mind frame where we're both um, What's the best way to put it? It's almost like we're working with destiny, but we're also creating our own. So this week, I kind of want you to find that balance there. Um, where can you start to create more things for yourself? And where can you allow when that chaos comes in? Where can you go with the flow in that as well? So just kind of like finding your way in the river and just kind of like making it work for you. And remember, um, whatever you're embarking upon here, um, a whole part of your journey, the whole part of everyone's journey, a lot of it is kind of jumping off into the unknown. So don't be afraid of the unknown. Um, don't allow that to stop you from something really important for you and something that you need to do for you this week and every week going forward. So allow this to be your sign. Allow this to be your yes sign to kind of take that leap of faith and jump off the edge there and do what you have to do for yourself. You have to create something here from your heart that you can gift to other people. Bring your magic, okay? <laughs> um, I also want to say too, there's a lot of clouds. Um, there's a lot of air feeling in this card. So I feel like it's going to be a really mental week for you. This is also a major arcana card in this deck. So this talks about major change, major evolution, and major movement forward. This is a pivotal week for you. We're also still in that phase uh, of the new moon where it's like we're still planting these seeds. So if you're going to be planting seeds this week, uh, thinking about your future, planning for things, uh, make sure that you got your eyes on the prize and have it really focus on, again, what you are bringing to the table and how you can do this with your whole heart. I think that's good shit. All right. Good job. Good work. <laughs> Keep kicking ass. All right. And then if you pick card number two, you got perspective and here's your beautiful card. We got some heavy hitters this week, guys. Woo. All right. So perspective, guess what perspective is going to say? Hmm. <laughs> I think this is about your perspective this week. There's also this feeling with this card that you're kind of like at a crossroads or that you're trying to make a decision. I don't know whether it's between two things or two different pathways. There's, there's this, uh, if you notice on the card, there's that theme of two that just keeps radiating throughout the card. So there's the two women, there's the two planets. They look like Jupiter to me, um, which is the giver of good luck and abundance hell yeah um but it's all about your perspective that's what this card is saying so this is 
about getting quiet, going inside and asking yourself what it is that you want so that you know which pathway to take. Nobody's going to be able to tell you this week but you. Um, which I know probably infuriates you, <laughs> you know, because sometimes it's just easier for other people to be like, oh, this is what you got to do. You're fine. Um, this really is about you going back to yourself and you saying, what is it that I want here? Um, and if you're having a hard time even making that decision, maybe sit down and talk with a friend that you can bounce some ideas off of or a friend that, you know, can give you good advice back and can be a good mirror to you. Maybe call you out on some stuff that you're maybe afraid to talk about or maybe that you aren't seeing within your situation. So if you do look for advice or you do look for help this week, allow that other person to be a mirror to you. Um, don't let them just tell you what to do and you follow blindly. This is about you making that choice for you. Um, and I want to say that there's a little bit of confusion slash depression with it this week. Um, so just know, I want to say with this card don't fall into the mind trap or don't fall into the perspective of everything is shit and nothing is going right. Even if it feels as though everything is, which is easy for me to say, right? Sitting from my couch and telling you that pulling my cards. Um, but I want, I offer this perspective to you, um, that allowing yourself to go there or allowing yourself to sit in that for too long is going to warp your perspective going forward. You won't be able to see opportunity because what's the point? Everything is shit you feel me? So this week at some point, uh, do your very best to get outside of yourself. Um, and I, I kind of want to say to you, like, go do something for someone else. Um, go volunteer at a homeless shelter or work with animals. Um, go walk a dog in the shelter that needs like some fresh air and some happiness, you know, get outside of yourself, do something for someone else. And I think that it will help you to get outside of that perspective. Um, I know that always works for me. So if I start getting stuck in that mental space where I'm like, nothing's good. Fuck this noise. Why am I here and doing living life? What's the point? <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm way too stuck in my story. Things aren't moving the way that I like. Obviously I'm blocking myself here in some way, shape or form. So let's see what I can do to get outside of myself and help someone else in the meantime. At least I can use this time to be of help to someone else if I'm just going to be a hindrance to myself, you know? So this week, um, be open and receptive to the feedback that you get. If you bounce something off of someone, allow them to be a mirror to you so that you can work through the situation and make the right choice for you. So just know everything is going to be okay. And, and it's going to, it's going to be all right. You just got to keep working through it and just know that you're don't give up is what I want to say to you. So know that you're pursuing something important. Um, and yeah, you've got two options here, two avenues that you can go down, but you're going to make the right choice for you. Um, I also trust that I read this really cool, I'm sorry, this just came up in my mind. I read this really cool thing today that some of our best choices, and I wish I could, maybe I'll put a link below or something. Some of our best choices are made in like the midst of chaos. So it's not really about planning and, and putting our best foot forward, which is important, an important part of our process to keep moving forward. But sometimes some of the best decisions we make are in the chaos of the moment. Our intuition takes over and we pick the right thing for us. So I kind of want to say that this week, allow that to happen for you. And then if you're kind of forced into something to make a choice, just go with the first one that comes up in your heart. You always got to follow your heart. All right. Good job. All right, guys. And then if you picked, um, oh, oh, and I want to say again, perspective, I didn't say it before, is a major arcana card talking about major change, major evolution, and major movement forward. So this is going to be a big week for you. Whatever decision that you're kind of going to make here and go forward with is going to change a lot of things for you, I feel. This is a big shift. Um, it's a big shift in your life. So take your time with this. If someone forces you to do it, trust your intuition in the moment and when and if needed, bounce these ideas off of somebody that can be a good mirror to you. You got this. All right. And then if you pick card number three, you get the page of swords and here's your beautiful card. Look at that. I love that color in there too. These cards are just spectacular. This is the Star Child Tarot, and I'm obsessed, obviously, because I use it every freaking week. I'm waiting for her to come out with another deck, the Earth Child Tarot. I'm, like, drooling and, and like, <laughs> freaking out, wait, you know, waiting for her to come out with the next deck. So um, when that happens, I'll be using that for sure, so you guys will be able to see that deck, too. Um, but Danielle Noel, I think, um, is her name. Um, but look up the Star Child Tarot. If you guys really like this deck, feel free to work with it. I find it beautiful and amazing. The imagery is on point. 
Okay, so card number three. Um, so whenever swords show up in a reading, they talk about our mental space. Where are we mentally? So this card is really a call to be here, to be present, and to be in the moment. But I want to say that the Page of Swords is kind of a celebratory card. Um, they're saying good job and good work. Um, now is the time to kind of do what you want to. Who gives a fuck what anybody else thinks? You hear me on that? I feel like I need to say that again. Who gives a fuck? what anyone else thinks. <laughs> this is your life and your choices. Nobody else has to deal with the repercussions or the accolades that you get in your life, only you. So other people can give you advice. Other people can think whatever the fuck they want to. Um, but really, whenever it comes down to it, you've gotta make this choice for you because you're gonna be the one that is dealing with the aftermath, good or bad, whatever happens there. So just remember that. If somebody starts barking at you that you need to be doing something, um, that this is the way things should be, like, well, this is my path and this is what I choose to go down. So either you can respect that and support me or you can pound sand. How about them apples? <laughs> you know? It's kind of the way this card is making me feel this week. Like, you really got to stand here um, in your own space and in your own time and really claim your power and your path. If you notice on the card, um, she's walking down this path, but we can't see the one ahead. This says to me to say to you that you're creating this path. No one else has walked this path but you. So create what you want here. There's no one really else to look to to get like ideas about the right way or the wrong way to do it. Like it just feels trivial to me that that part of it and this part of your journey. So focus on what you want. This is about you and your life and you kind of following the beat of your own drum. Some people are not going to understand that. It's probably going to piss off some other people, but may I offer the perspective that they might be jealous and that you might be highlighting for them in their life and reflecting for them in their life where they're not standing up, standing in their power and doing something that's important for them. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so <laughs> do you this week. Um, final thing I want to say about this card. Um, well, two things, final things I want to say about this card. Um, if you notice on there, there's three swords on either side. So this week kind of talks about balance mentally. Make sure that you're balancing yourself mentally, that you're not all focused on the negative or you're just focused on the light and the positive. Like, be somewhere in between. Be a real person, please. And allow yourself to see all that you are, the spectrum that you are, um, and love all parts of yourself. Because the only way that you're ever going to change some part of you that you may not like or that you may not favor is to face it and to love it and to work through it. Ignoring it's not going to make a change. Um, damning it to hell is not going to make it change. Um, if somebody damned you to hell, I think you'd probably stand your ground too and be like, bring it. <laughs> so with that understanding, make sure that you love all parts of yourself and you balance yourself mentally this week that you see yourself and, and you, yeah, you see yourself and, and you, you see yourself with all the light and all the dark and all the everything in between that you are and you, and you love that. Um, because when you start to love yourself in that way, no one else's opinions fucking matter. Besides the people that you really, like your husband or wife or your parents, you know what I mean? But sometimes those are the exact people that are saying some dumb shit to us, you know, where we need to follow our own path here. So, so, <laughs> moral of the story with this card, follow your own path this week. You've got this. Uh, you're creating something really important and it's, um, it's just a time to keep moving forward, knowing that, um, your strength lies in loving yourself. Your strength lies in knowing yourself. Your strength lies in walking this path, listening to that beat and following it and nobody else's. You got this. And, and good job and good work, I think, on, on everything that you've done so far. Because the only way that you could have gotten here was by facing the ugly stuff before and really starting to consciously step into your power to be present and to be here the very, very best that you can. So good job. I'm so proud of you guys. It's hard, man. Freaking sucks. Like waking up, being woke. Um, you know, like being enlightened and all that stuff that everybody looks up to. Like that is a destructive stanky force. This is not flowers and happiness all the time. So um, just want to applaud you on, on going deeper and making sure that you're taking care of you. Because really, if you want to give back and you want your gifts and abilities to shine and you want to be there and offer those things to other people so you can be of service, the only way that you can do that is by loving yourself and coming back home to you. The end. If you take care of you, 
and and you're full of light and love then you can give that to other people that's just the deal you know good job guys all right and then the stone we've got this week is smoky quartz so let's see if i can yeah look at this beauty and i think this is a record keeper um i'm still trying to learn like the different ones that are like record keepers and I don't know. There's different kinds. <laughs> like sometimes the different facets on like the, the faces like mean different things. Like that would be like a, I think there's like a time link on this one. Um, there's just like wild stuff. And this one's actually double terminated, which I made my heart skip a beat. was really happy. So what that means is that energy is coming out that way. Energy is coming out that way. This is really great for, um, uh, say I want to, ground myself say i really need help like grounding myself and protecting myself psychically then i would place this on whatever chakra and then that energy would run up and run down helping all the chakras align do you feel so that's why this guy is an awesome tool in terms of like reiki or energy work or crystal healing work um it's just a beautiful stone and and also it being quartz there's an amplification here going on with the smoky part of it it talks about deep protection deep grounding there's a special link to psychic protection as well so somebody that does a lot of astral projection or somebody that does um i would say like maybe you do like a lot of psychic work and you see a lot of stuff in the future so this is kind of like protecting your sacred space making sure that you don't attract anything funky or lower energy um I don't know, just keeping you there in like a good, positive, happy space. It kind of puts like a, a positivity bubble around you, which is good stuff. Um, I want to say too, this is one of my absolute favorite stones to help me to ground myself. So what I'll do, um, if I get the chance, I'll go outside, sit on the ground, I'll take the stone and I'll put it at my feet. Um, and if I can get my bare feet on the grass, that's even better. Um, I'll put it right in between my two feet. Um, and then I'll just go into meditation and allow all that energy, to, uh, anything funky, anything gnarly to just kind of just drain right out of me, go into mama earth so that she can transmute it into unconditional love. That's my request. So, um, if you guys are thinking that you need some psychic protection this week, you're looking for a positivity bubble <laughs> to keep your energy nice, high and happy. Um, and just to make you feel safe and protected and like you got this here. Um, especially if you're feeling kind of alone this week, um, and either pursuing what you need to do or just kind of feeling like, uh, you're trying to work on your psychic gifts and abilities and you're just coming up in this and you kind of want a stone to make you feel safe and, and good and grounded with all that work. Um, grab a chunk of smoky quartz and, and keep it on you. Um, I think smoky quartz, I'm pretty sure works with all the chakras. I'm pretty sure. Um, cause I know quartz works with all the chakras. So I want to say smoky quartz works with all of them. Cause I've used smoky quartz on all of my chakras and I love it. Um, I would say it, it probably does the most good for me at my root chakra which deals with safety and security issues and feeling good and safe in this world. Um, especially when I was first coming up with my psychic gifts and abilities. So, um, yeah, if you want to do that this week, grab a chunk, make sure that it's larger than a quarter in size. You don't have to get this exact one. You can get a tumbled piece. You can get a rough piece. Um, it's whatever works for you. Just go towards the one that you resonate with, um, and tell it what you need it to do. That may sound crazy, but all you're doing is directing the energy. It's already putting it out there. Where do you want it to go? You know? All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know how this was in the comments below. Um, and thank you guys. And remember, this is your week. Make it an amazing one. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.